Alright, yo, what's up? It's your boy JP bringing you episode 80 of our Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Let's Play. So, last episode, I was about to say yesterday because of I'm so used to uploading daily, so oops. But last episode, we had a duel for redemption. That was pretty interesting. But anyway, today we're gonna be having a little bit of a fun fest as we're gonna be tricking with the trickster. So we're going to be playing with some black wings, it's going to be interesting to say the least. I haven't really used black wings at all since the last duel where we had to use black wings with this, so it's going to be interesting, especially assuming we're going to be using some new black wings cards. But anyway, let's get into this, let's hope this will stick to being short. Jack Atlas, <laughs> what? Jack Atlas was able to defeat Darigan. Darigan? Darigan. Darigan. Dragon. I'm just gonna call him Dragon. But he was quickly dispatched by Team Ragnarok's next duelist, Broder. So Kuru got his chance in the Grand Prix. Kuru vs Broder was next. Nice and short. And uh, I'm recording this about an hour. Uh, just over an hour uh, after the last episode. And since then, my voice has gotten a little bit odd. And I can feel like my throat getting all phlegmy and shit. It's not good. So I'm stuttering on my words because of like my my throat just goes weird. And this shit is so loud in my ear, I'm just saying. Oh, harmonic waves. What up? Okay, okay. Hmm. So definitely one interesting hand. We can straight up go for a level yeah. We could go for a level seven or a level Oh, we already have six cards. Blackwing Dragon. Bro, these two cards are great, but I got, I'm sorry, I prefer Blackwing Armor Master. He is the shit, I'm just saying. And it's funny, because of so many decks, back in the day, people would rely on this card. And then, <laughs> you would just like spam effect damage and make it just lose attack. It was the greatest. Anyway, uh, I was about to use this guy right here. Wouldn't have been good for me, because I'm planning on trying to get myself... I'm a master. Fun fact, I know I've already talked about this before, but some people may have missed that episode. Crow was actually supposed to be a Dark Signer. Which hasn't been confirmed, at least not of my knowledge, but I'm assuming that's why this card looks like an Earthbound Immortal. I always thought to myself as a kid, I was like, bro, this really looks like a Dark Signer card. But it's a Synchro, and it's a, you know, it's Crow's card. But that's why, because of Kuro used to be a Dark Signer before people apparently apparently the story is Black Wings got so famous and so popular, which they did, so then they're like, yo, we can't have the user of Black Wings evil? That's bad. So then they were like, yo, gotta be good now. Alright. So uh, I guess I'm just gonna do this. And I'm gonna use Black Whirlwind to get myself another. Never mind. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. <laughs> for a sec I forgot how this thing works for a second. Ah, I can match a card from the graveyard. You know, I'm gonna get you just for GP. Because I feel like you'll help. Ah, yuck. I just, I just used a shortening word, and this oh, guy's obviously got Mirror Force or some shit, bro. Yep. <laughs> Better to trigger it now than never. Because I highly doubt I'm going to get some sort of back row removal. But I probably should have waited. But, you know me, I hate stall. I'd rather lose than be stalling out the game. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I've not really talked about this previously, but. I used to love Black Wings back in the day, dude. And then Raid Raptors came out, I'm like, yo, I don't want to focus on two different decks. And... I don't know. The thing is, Black Wings, the reason I've preferred Raid Raptor over them is because I kind of prefer Xyz cards, and Raid Raptors are so spammy, and I fucking love them. I mean, it's all Black Wings in a way, but Raid Raptors are based on birds, and they actually look like birds, and they're mechanical, and they have fire birds and shit. And then there's... And then there's this guy. The reason... I one of the reasons I was so tempted to go with Black Wings because it's, it's a fucking blue flame, dude. But anyway, Raid Raptors—they look like birds, or these ones are just 
humanoid birds, so it's kind of like, eh, you know. Um, you're not gonna get this guy just because of he is a junk synchron. All right, let's hope he doesn't have any sort of back row again. All right, goodbye. Yes. Huh. All right. Uh. We have three of you. So, if this guy gets destroyed, at least I have another one and I can bring it back if it needs to be. So, sadly, his effect isn't working. And I can just think of something. What am I on about, bro? What am I on about, bro? I was like, here, I want to get have this guy out in the field just in case. Kind of forgot his uh, effect was going to be negated, bro. But then I was like, hey, I mean, can always bring him back. But instead, bring out this guy right here, you. I remember when I was a kid, he used to be one of my favorite synchros. He is so fucking cool, dude. And if you look, if you think about it, 2500 attack, that's like the most typical ace card for Yu Gi Oh! stats. So, like, he was made to be the ace, you know? Alright, let's go in with a little bit of power. Hello. Um. Who do you want to bring back? Uh, I'm going to bring you back. Yes. Black Whirlwind is a great card. But so is Raid Raptor's readiness. And Raid Raptor Nest. I wanna get you because of the damage. Actually, I, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Just because they have higher attack. Alright. Nice, nice. I'm gonna go into special summon Bora. Alright. Hmm. You know, it kind of sucks because I can't see increase someone right now. Uh, so I'm back in from your hand degree. So I'm, okay, okay, I already read that. Just double checking. Becomes a level 4. Yes. I already know I had that, but I was just double checking. Before people be like, uh, you already read it so many times. I like double checking to clarify that I am in fact doing the right thing. So here we are, Blackwing Dragon is now out on the field. Okay. And I'm gonna straight up get rid of you, bro. Ah, uh, I said I'm gonna get rid of you. Little bitch. Think you can defy me? Your black wings are so good. <laughs> black wings are great. Or oh, another reason I preferred Raid Raptors over him, because of fucking the user of Raid Raptors, dude. He's a fucking badass. He's fucking amazing. He's cool. Shay. Uh, actually, hold up. Uh, actually, I want to get up. I want to get off a Google tab, but I can't because I accidentally minimized it. But, you know, at the time of recording this, I'm just saying I'm sick. So, what that kind of means, my memory isn't the best right about now. So, kind of can't remember Shay's Japanese name because I usually refer to Arc V characters by their. Uh, Japanese name just because of I watch Japanese before English. It was Shay is his English name. I know that for sure, and I know I know his Japanese name, but off of my mind, I can't remember. And a Reiji is Declan, and a Yuya is Yuya. <laughs> ah, fuck. Uh, do do. Alright. There you go. Goodbye. I was just quickly double checking of the effects. Alright, uh. Well. Gonna have to remember to edit that out. Actually, it might not even bother because it wasn't even important. It's literally up there for a second. Yeah, I use Camtasia to record games like this just because of... It's so easy to use, dude. And at the same time, it doesn't create super huge recording files. So, I'm just saying, if you're planning on recording a simple screen game like this, Camtasia is great. Uh, do 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 
Tiger one, yeah. Oh, you, I remember this guy's effect. He was so fucking cool back in the day. I say back in the days, if it was ages ago. I mean, it kind of was, but I mean, back in Blackwing's era. Yo, I'm gonna pause the video real quick because of I want to look up this guy's name. It's kind of bothering me. All right, got my Google tab tab up. So there we are. Okay, so the whole time I was uh, trying to figure out who he was, the name Obsidian kept coming to mind. And I was like, yo, that's not his name, it's his last name. Uh, so what's his actual first name? Raid Raptors, da da da. I'm on the Yu Gi Oh! wiki right now. Hello? So, yes, it's used in Arc V, but who uses it? Fuck. Maybe I scroll down. Weaknesses, recommended, official, trivia. Uh, talks about Earthbound Immortals, that's cute. It just says Shea Obsidian, okay. I'm gonna click on his name. Shea Obsidian is Shun Kurosaki. Aha. Uh -huh. Shun Kurosaki. Hmm. Wait, it's my turn already? Oh, well, I guess this was an easy. Ah! I don't need my turn. I don't care. Please don't have another monster. Please don't have another monster. Yes! Things. Shun! <laughs> like, I don't know why, but. I feel like I really, I really knew that was his name, but at the same time I was in denial because of that's the dude from Bakugan. <laughs> anyway, this guy just got obliterated. Crow and Broda ended in a draw, limiting them both. Oh, I'm sure that was a fucking draw. The final round came down to Yusei vs. Helda. Nice. New deck avatar unlocked. Okay. By the way, all, I'm going to be doing all these reverse duels off screen, so don't worry, they will be done. So, yeah, alright, well, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. What the fuck? I slapped down on my desk, and it just jumps down to card shop. That's fucking odd. Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, if you have enjoyed, smash your heart if it's out of your thumbs up down below. Then in the comment section, tell me what is your favorite Arc V character. Honestly, straight up, mine is Kurosaki Shun, aka Shea Obsidian, and also Yuto. Because Yuto is a fucking badass, bro. Oh, dude, all the XCs people are badass. Oh, and Declan! And Declan. Those three are fucking awesome. I can't decide between them because they're all really cool in their own way. But if I had to choose one, Declan's awesome, but I gotta say Kurosaki Shun, aka Shea, because he is a fucking badass dude. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I do hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Let me get a pop when the beat goes.